See if you have one of these friends that I'm talking about. The type of friend where there is no pretense, there's no masks, you don't have to posture, there's no imposter syndrome going on, you don't need to pretend. Listen, you might think, well, gee, is that common? No, I think it's actually very uncommon to have that type of friend where you can be 100% real and there's no posturing. I just came from a meeting with that type of friend. The guy's name is Skip Pritchard. By the way, he's got a great book out called The Book of Mistakes. He's coming to uh, the Igniting Souls Conference. He's actually one of the judges in the Author Academy Awards. But here's the coolest thing. The guy has zero pretense. Like when we get together, we can be 100% real with our mistakes. I mean, he's the author of the book of mistakes, so he better be able to be somebody that you can share your weaknesses with. So what we did is we just had this great meeting, super real, no agenda, great food, and just him helping me, me helping him, related to all that we're doing with our projects. We talked about personal life, we talked about our families, but it was just awesome to be with somebody who you don't feel like you're one-upping, you don't have to top this person, there's no compet competitiveness, it's all collaboration. There's no judgment. Listen folks, if you have that type of friend today, give them a hug, give them a text, reach out right now and tell them how much they mean to you because that is rare. That is rare, my friend, to find that type of person in your life. And I actually told Skip about it. I said, you know, isn't this, isn't this refreshing? Because we, we see this trend today, Skip and I, where there's this trend out there on Instagram and Facebook where there's this deficit in a person. You can tell, you can just tell with all their posts, there's this deficit going on where they feel like they always have to showcase their, their wealth, their achievements, their success. And listen, I get it. There's a time and there's a place for that. But social media is a great place to promote other people. It's a great place to reference other people who are doing great things in the world. And when you become that type of person in life and social media, I think that you'll have much more success. When we're always out there beating our own drum, tuning our own horn, listen, I get it. There's a time to talk about our projects that we're doing. Why? Because it's helping create good in the world. And if you don't talk about it, people won't find out about it. So I get it. There's a time and there's a place for that. But there's also a time and a place to talk about what didn't happen right in your day. In fact, just today on Facebook, I posted, what did I post? Somewhere around here. Here it is, I think. But I just ordered a proof copy from my next book, Your Secret Name. And I looked at that book and I thought, wow, is that thing thin? That thing's super thin, what's going on? And then I opened up the first page and the first page was page 33. And they had, they had missed the first 32 pages. And listen, right? The printer did that. And as a publisher, I might say, oh, we gotta hide that, we gotta pretend that didn't happen. Look, I'm the first one to say, look, let this be a lesson to always order a proof copy and to get your own book and to read through it and make sure there's no errors. That's a good thing. And that was a coaching lesson and I knew that I could share value to people, so I shared it. I shared a mistake on social media that happened. Look, when you do that, and it's not just about, look at this, look at that, I'm telling you, people relate. People are drawn to other people's real teachable moments. That's the type of post that can actually change people. So this is Carrie Oberbrunner, be a soul on fire today. Go ahead, love on your friends who are authentic and real, and don't be afraid to post about some honest, teachable moments, maybe even some mistakes, because listen, my friend Skip Pritchard wrote the book of mistakes, and it just became a bestseller. So congrats, Skip. 
Shout out to you and have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you.